Lockheed Martin's actually been building satellites for the past 50 years, and we've launched over 150 successful small satellites. We've participated in a number of programs. Some recent ones have been XSS-11, the GRAIL program, the Phoenix program also for NASA, um, Iridium, which was done as a commercial entity, and we go across the customer sets from NASA to the DOD to the intelligence community. What we're seeing is we're looking at all the current architectures in, in space, including military communications, overhead persistent infrared, uh, looking at the precision navigation and timing, and then as a part of that, looking at the space situational awareness and space protection. We're trying to merge those architectures to understand the next generation of satellites. What's the best, most cost-effective way to ensure that we have the needs we get from space? Right now, we're looking at ways to do our missions more affordably. So we have several core main programs like SIBRS, GPS, AEHF. And we're looking at small sats and hosted payloads as a way to augment those programs and those systems to give the customer more capability or more resilient capability at a more affordable price. So one of the things we can do is test out new payloads or new capabilities before you commit to those on your main programs. And so small satellites gives you the chance to do that quickly and easily. And it looks to me like the future will include core programs like we have augmented by things like small satellites or hosted payloads to try to give us more resilience and more capability at a lower price. Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company isn't really about building big satellites or building small satellites. It's really about getting the right capabilities to space for the best price possible for our customers.